Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about designing an XML report based on two input parameters and which are dependent parameters also. Now let us see the step-by-step -step process in designing the report. The first thing is, as we know that, you know, like uh, we want to design the AR invoice report and uh, that will be based on this specific query, which has the dependency or the linkage between RA customer transaction to all HR operating units as well as HZ cost accounts. So in this query, the expectation is that we'll provide one mandatory parameter called org ID and account number, let us consider it as an optional parameter, okay? So now the first thing is, let me show the steps involved. The first step is we need to create a concurrent program. We need to create the concurrent program and you know, like set the output as XML and then create the data definition XML in the XML publisher administrator and then assign the concurrent program to the request group. So these are the first three steps we'll try to finish it off now. So we'll just navigate to the application developer, concurrent program. And here I would like to mention the report name as XX or a AR invoice XML report. And the short name, I would like to go with this name and application name, I'll go with application object library. And here the executable should be XDOD TEXE. And the output should be XML. And we want to have two parameters. So in the data model or data template XML, already I have designed it. And here, these are the two parameters I would like to consider. So one is P org ID. So I'll just go here in the parameter section and I'll just mention P org ID. And token also, I'll just go with the same thing. And value set for now, I'll just go with the 10 number and 20. Here also, I'll go with the P cost account ID. And Okay, so now we just define the concurrent program. We have defined two parameters. And now the next step is, let us create the data definition XML. Now let me show you the data template file or data model file, we call it as. And here the data template name, I mentioned it as XX or AR invoice underscore report, description AR invoice report. We mentioned two parameters in the parameter section. And the SQL statement, the one which I have shown you just now in the SQL developer, this is the one. We have the mandatory parameter called org ID and the optional parameter called cust account ID. And then we have the group structure which in which we are providing the four elements, BU name, transaction number, account number, as well as transaction date. Now this is our data model XML. So we'll navigate to the XML publisher administrator. XML Publisher Administrator, Home, and Data Definition. Click on Create Data Definition. The data definition short code has to match with the concurrent program short name. So this is our short name. So copy this. And here, this has to exactly match with the concurrent program short code. And this name can be anything. And you can mention the same exact name also. Doesn't matter application object library. Now click on apply. Once you click on apply, it will provide an option for us to upload the data template XML. So click on add file. And here I'll click on browse. So I'll just select the folder AR invoice XML, data model dot XML, click on apply. So now the two steps are done. Let us go with the third step. So copy the report name. Go to the system administrator, go to the request group. Now we will assign our report to the application developer request group. And here I'll just insert new record and I'll assign here. Save it. Navigate back to application developer. Now I'll try to run the program. And it has or it requires two parameters. So let us provide the parameter for now. As of now, we have just assigned the number value set, not the exact value set for which we'd like to provide data. For now, I'll just assign org ID as 204 and maybe let us take one customer account ID, let's say. I'll take it as 45, this one, and click on submit. And let us see what it provides. We just provided cust account ID as well as org ID, both we have provided. Yep, click on view output. 
and let us see whether it is working or not. Yep, perfectly. So it provided the list of records which are based on the provided organization ID as well as cust account ID, right? Now save this file, like I'll save as, so I'll just go to this folder, the place where I'm designing the reports. And let us save the sample output, x6 or a ER invoice data dot XML. Now we have the data. Now let us design the fourth step or let us start with the fourth step wherein we have to design our RTF template. So I'll just open MS Word and I will save the RTF template XX or a ER invoice TMPL and the file extension should be RTF. Click on save. If at all, if your plugin is not showing here, just enable it explicitly. Okay, click on add-ins, data, load XML data. Now select the data.xml and here in the insert table wizard, let insert the data, the four fields and finish, that's it. So the template is almost ready. Now we'll go to the XML Publisher Administrator, click on templates, click on create template. Now there is a link between the data definition as well as template. So let us mention our template name, our data definition name, XXRA, AR, invoice XML. And here I'll just mention underscore TMPL as our code. And this name, you can mention the same thing application object library. The template type is RTF and default output, I would like to go with PDF. And you can also select the template file, XXR invoice, tmpl.rtf, and the language is English. Now, click on apply. Yep, so template is loaded now. Now let us try to rerun the report and let us see the difference now. So earlier when we ran the report, you just click on this, click on view details and observe here carefully. There was no layout. It never considered the layout. Now, when we run the report now, let us see what will, what is the difference we'll observe now. Submit a new request. Now, we'll send the org ID and let us mention the customer ID also. Submit. And here you can observe that the template got selected automatically as we have defined template and the template was assigned to this report automatically now. And we should we should be able to see the output now in the PDF. Click on refresh. The data could be huge because like um, in the system, maybe not sure how many records it has, but yeah. Maybe I can just count here. If it is huge, better to, you know, like filter it now. Yeah, 20,000 records. It generally hits huge, right? Yeah. Click on view PDF and let's see the output. Perfect. So we got 100 pages of output. Okay. Now, as of now, like uh, we have not defined our value set, let us define the value set also. As of now, we have ju just used a standard value set and the parameters were independent, right? Now, let us go to the value sets now. Uh, so, application, validation, and set. So, the first value set I would like to go with is a business unit name, right? So, I'll name it as XX or AR invoice business unit ID. This is my value set name. And here, this value set should return us what it has to return. It has to return the org ID and it will be based on the table called HR operating units. So I'll just mention this one and we are expecting it to return the BU name. So this is the column name, the BU name. And the ID it has to return is organization ID. The ID is organization ID. Okay. So, yep, this is our value set name, which is a table value set, but there is no dependency or there is no where clause. Edit information, try to click on test once. Yeah, it got compiled. Save it and close it. Now let us define one more value set, which is a dependent value set, which is a table value set, but it is a dependent value set. This is our AR invoice cost account ID. And here, 
40 table now edit information now i just define a database view on this one because i would like to have a unique account number cast account id based on the provided org id so that's the reason i just defined a view okay and this is my view name and you can see the the logic behind the view it's like a join between three tables and here we are getting the distinct account number and we would like to consider the org id as an input okay so the view name is this is my database view so i'll copy this view name here and what are the columns we are expecting from this one we are expecting account number as well as cast account id so i'll just mention account number here and the cast account id yeah but here comes the twist where there is a dependency here we have to pass the org id from the earlier parameter so i just mentioned this one org id is equal to envelope of colon dollar flex dollar dot the first value set which you have defined comma org id so click on test it got compiled save it now go back to the concurrent program f11 x6 or a AR invoice XML report. Now let us change the parameters. So here for the P org ID, I prefer to change now to XX or AR invoice VUID and I'll make it as required. And here you can change the prompt also like a select VU name. Select VU name. Like this, you can change it. Token, you should not change it. Cust account ID. So here also I'll change XX or a air cost account id and you can select cost account number and now save it yeah let's close it and now try to run the report and see what happens now and this is our report ar invoice xml report and now maybe let's try vision percentile and you can observe here let me cancel once yeah, let me click on submit once wait yeah so now here account number is not selected until unless you select the view name so i'll say vision operations yep and now click on this one it should show all the invoices numbers or sorry it has to show all the account numbers which are having invoices under this view now well we are trying to pull all the invoices of the customer number 1005 as well as the BU which belongs to vision operations. Now click on submit. Yeah, let's see what happens now. Yep. Perfect. So we are pulling all the invoices which belongs to business unit name vision operations as well as icon number 1005. So this is all about XML report which is based on dependent valid set. Thank you.